MJ Hager doesn't seem like your typical political candidate. From her tattoos to her campaign ads to her self-described status as an ass-kicking, motorcycle-riding Texas Democrat. But her gender? Well, that's sticking out less and less in what has been dubbed the second coming of 1992's Year of the Woman. Hager is a first-time candidate in Texas and is one of the 256 women who will be on ballots across the country. If all of them won, the amount of women in Congress would be near parity with male lawmakers for the first time ever. I don't know that my being a woman factored into my decision to run. Um, you know, I am very glad to see multiple women running on both sides of the aisle, um, but not just because they're women. I, I think that our, um, uh, you know, elected officials, our representatives should be more reflective of the demographics of the country. Hager is a veteran, like a number of other first-time female candidates, from Mikey Sherrill to Amy McGrath. Others are teachers, lawyers, and social workers. They may have different motivations, but all are running against the backdrop of President Donald Trump, whose popularity among women sits at just 32 percent, according to a YouGov poll. Between his comments on the Me Too movement to his alleged mocking of Christine Blasey Ford, some people think this election could be a referendum on Trump's treatment of women. But Hager isn't sure about that. I was a helicopter pilot. I did three tours in Afghanistan. I was an aircraft maintenance officer before that. There's very few women um, in that field, too. Um, so it's not anything new to me, and I never really consider myself a female maintenance officer or a female pilot or a female candidate. I'm just, you know, a candidate, and if some people want to see me as a female candidate, then that's kind of up to them, and I'm just going to put my head down and get back to work. While it's true that women are indeed running as both Democrats and Republicans, it isn't split evenly among both parties. Of the 234 women running for House seats, 52 are Republicans. Of the 22 women running for Senate, seven are Republicans. In fact, depending on how the elections go, we could actually see less Republican women in Congress than there currently are now. The challenge that we face as conservative women or Republican women, it's almost as if we don't count as women. Matori is a Republican running against Democratic incumbent Dutch Ruppersberger in Maryland's second congressional district, marked solidly Democratic by several polling companies. It might seem like a long shot, but GOP strategists say the party often runs female candidates in hard races. The Republican Party does like to pick women for its tough fights, which is an immense compliment to women. But it also does mean that if you're having a tough election year, you can end up with that result, fewer women afterwards, even though it's the year of the woman. Recruiting women to run on the Republican ticket is an effort that's been spearheaded by Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who was the youngest woman ever elected to the House. And last year, GOP donors launched Winning for Women, a group meant to counter EMILY's list, which helps Democratic women who support abortion rights. And without having more women and not having conservative women to, to add to that viewpoint, obviously we're missing out. But if Democrats take the House back, which many experts say is likely, it would make this the year of the Democratic women only.